Hello everybody, I'm Gracia Tasio and this is my week for the 12th Ascendance. I will make a brief overview of the situation on the sky as it is a bit complex this week. And then of course we will look at each of the 12th Ascendance and what uh, to expect from the week for each one of them. Now this is just an overview as everyone's horoscope is unique. So what is happening this week is actually quite interesting because uh, from the week from the 24th to the 31st of uh, June is this week. So uh, we have this week already now Saturn in a very powerful posi position. Now Saturn is not only retrograde together with Pluto, together with Ketu in Sagittarius, sidereal coordinates, but Saturn is also very, very powerful and young because um, full of energy because Saturn is in uh, Heliacophas called a chronicle rise. And he is having this fast together with Ketu and Pluto exactly uh, conjoined with them. So this makes Saturn quite a um, wise teacher for us. He would expect from us to be very, very, very moral, not say a lie, very disciplined, very uh, time oriented he would expect probably that we study learn that we revisit our um, our um, value system moral system so he is a great teacher for us when in this particular heliac of us now this is happening on sagittarius gemini so people who have such ascendant of course need to be a bit more careful also, something interesting is that this week already, when the week starts on the 24th, Mars is moving from Gemini to enter Cancer, and there he is meeting Mercury. And when, Saturn, when Mars is invisible, together with Mercury, the ruler of uh, Gemini, of course, we can expect different technological issues, delays, travel, Mm, challenges, communication challenges, uh, all this is very possible to happen. Uh, also during this uh, particular week, because the moon is waning, and also because this uh, delayed situation on the sky, of course the markets will be down, slowed, and not only this, we also will experience um, different issues all related to communication, even mm, measures for suppressing free uh, speech are possible especially after the eclipse that will happen on the 2nd of july but the week is when we travel this week generally all of us all of us need to be careful uh plan everything good use our intuition new beginnings would not be very possible and it is also very appropriate uh, also, when communicating, to be careful, double check, triple check, and be very, very well prepared and disciplined. So this is what is happening on the sky. And then uh, we will expect on the 2nd of July, the total solar eclipse, which is also quite um, complex. And therefore, if you like, you may see my other video on my channel on the total solar eclipse and what to expect from it. So let's start with Aries Ascendant, Aries Rising. Now for you, this powerful placement of Saturn <coughs> may limit a little bit your education plans. If you would be doing exams now, you may feel a bit um, delayed or not very, very lucky. Uh, also, you may see that this is not the most appropriate week for you to travel. If you would revisit old studies, old um, information this may be indeed interesting uh financially the week looks good for you but delayed delayed like literally for almost everyone um for new beginnings the week also for you is not very appropriate for travel as well i wouldn't travel uh, this week uh, so um in terms of um health the week is good, but do everything, double check, triple check, and be very disciplined in everything that you will be doing this week. 
uh, especially because of the powerful aspect of Saturn to your ascendant, and this can create certain delays. Therefore, I wouldn't advise new beginnings. I would say wait a little bit. So, this was about Aries. Taurus rising. Now for you, Venus is moving away from your ascendant where she was blessing you for approximately one month. She was supporting your relationship. Now she's moving on to your second house where she will be supportive in terms of uh, finances. But you may expect uh, some financial expenses, quite some financial expenses. This week may be appropriate for you also to communicate and to solve unsolved issues with family members, for example. Jupiter will still be supporting your private life, so this is, this is fine. In terms of travel and communication and new beginnings, the week is not very appropriate. Everything is delayed. I would say double check, triple check, be very well prepared. And when it comes to travel, be sure that all the needed preparations are done, that you that this inner voice, when it's telling you it's not the most appropriate moment that you listen to it. Um, so in terms of health, the week seems okay to me. Just be cautious when it comes to travel and communication. There, there, are, there are a little bit the weak points this week for you. Gemini. Now for you, your relationship, that is where you need to be careful, uh, patient, loving, also relationship with partners at work, that is also where your attention should go. In terms of communication, also you may need to be careful, and also in terms of travel, be cautious. Financially, the week is not so bad, and you may receive support from subordinates. Um, patient, you need to be with your partner and also with all your partnerships. Um, indeed, when it comes to communication, double, triple check everything that you will be saying when it comes to travel as well. New beginnings, I wouldn't advise this week for certain. When it comes to health, I would also say be very responsible and very uh, careful for your health, like uh, maintaining healthy lifestyle, and be very spiritual and intuitive. Cancer. Now for you, you may, um, you will be supported um, in a very lucky way through Jupiter, you, where you, um, in a place where you may desire to, to do some pleasures, for example, or to, to have some hobbies, or to, to do studies, which would be very different and very creative or creative work. So you may also need to be careful when it comes to subordinates, colleagues, and you may need to be cautious with your health. During this week, with cancer rising, I would be careful when traveling and when communicating, and when um, communicating with partners. Also be, because Venus is not anymore on your 11th house, on the 28th, Venus will move away from your 11th house when she would support your gainings, your gains, your friendships, uh, also your love life. She is moving now on into your 12th house, and there she may not be so very supportive even a little bit afflicted. So you may need to be very patient, very uh, loving with your partner as well. So the week doesn't look so very harmonious, but you can find the right path uh, through your intuition, uh, which is very, very powerful. And you may also remember that you're very lucky uh, because Jupiter takes care for your good luck. So you are lucky, but still be cautious for your health and be very uh, and try to maintain really healthy lifestyle and be commun in communication wise uh, also be very very well prepared and also when it comes to travel I would postpone or just plan everything very carefully. Leo. Now financially the, the week looks good for, for you. Also uh, you are supported when it comes to 
friends, for example, but be careful with your children double check them triple check them like don't don't leave them out of sight also this week career wise the week looks fine for me uh, also in terms of communication and travel i would postpone or i would double triple check everything in terms of health as well be careful this week a little bit like um you may need to be to maintain healthy lifestyle, but still, um, your ascendant rule is pla- a ruler is placed in such a way that you will be quite lucky fin- financially as well, and in terms of friendships as well. Just uh, your attention should go a bit to your children, and otherwise, career wise, the week looks good to me. Communication, travel, be careful. And the week is not appropriate for new beginnings, also for you. Virgo. Now your ascendant ruler is with Mars, afflicted on your 11th house, which can have impact on your finances, technology, plans. They may be also a little bit afflicted, not very, very harmonious. Therefore, plan everything well so that you stay away from trouble and travel. So plan everything very well. Like when you will be traveling, very, very plan everything good. When you will be conveying a message as well, plan it very, very good. As you may be misunderstood or you may be taken wrong. Career-wise, you may have the impetus for plans, for new, um, for new negotiations and new plans and starting new things i would say wait use the moment to solve old things or to solve to solve issues that you had with your superior now is the timing but very very carefully because on one hand it is the timing because the sun and venus will support you on your 10th house on the other hand communication wise you're not so supportive which would say be very very diplomatic use your powerful intuition and it will go well in terms of study, spiritual work, the week looks very good for me. But in terms of traveling, as I told you, be, be cautious. In terms of uh, home, uh, parents, you may need to be very patient and loving. Your relationships look okay, looks okay to me. Uh, there are no specific challenges there. Libra. Now for you... Your ascendant ruler is entering on the 28th of June, your ninth house from where Venus and the sun together will be trying in your ascendant, and this is a pure blessing. Then you will receive support, like uh, blessing, uh, support in terms of saving you from uh, putting you in a very lucky status, so to say. Still, let's not forget that at that same moment Saturn and Pluto all are um, in a chronicle rise and retrograde difficult so this would say use the moment for spiritual work but very strategically planned very uh, disciplined time oriented and in t- for traveling the week is not very very appropriate you may have some challenges at work with your superiors, therefore be very diplomatic and I would not advise negotiations and plannings and starting new initiatives during this week. Um, your um, also at home, your love life, your partner, there you may need to be also very patient and very loving and also when it comes to partnerships, this will be also very important. Spiritual work, studies, it's wonderful, but you may feel slowed down. You may feel that you lose, that you don't have the muse to study. But still, Saturn can lead you to a status of ancient studies and some very interesting um, knowledge. Health-wise, be maintain healthy uh, lifestyle and do not expect fast results in business and in anything because the whole sky is delayed quite now scorpio you have still until 28th of june venus is supporting your love life your relationship this is good after that she is moving on your eighth house and this way 
the finances of your partner and your relationship may suffer a little bit. However, you're very much safe from Jupiter on the Ascendant, where all the time he's telling you, revisit your moral values, revisit your philosophical belief system. So he may be very, very careful for you. Financially, you may have um, some challenges and delays. Therefore, financial-wise, you may need to be very disciplined and very, very task oriented, like certain likes, in a very dry way, just to concentrate um, on the detail, for example. The detail would matter a lot. The week may not be very, very appropriate for new beginnings, but and also for traveling. Uh, travel and communication and negotiation, I would do only after double, triple checking everything and after perfect preparation. In terms of money, as I told you, you may be a little bit delayed. Yes, and for your partnerships, you may need to be very, very patient and very, very loving so that you pass through this period harmoniously. Sagittarius rising. Now your ascendant ruler is on your 12th house. We know this when this can put you in a state of uh, isolation, self-desire to self for self-isolation. You may experience some uh, challenges with your partnerships, with your relationship, even at work. Health-wise, you may feel a little bit disharmonious. This is all possible, especially now when Saturn is so young and powerful in this specific heliacal phase. Uh, so, travel, communication be careful uh, double triple check and be very well prepared like um, in terms of preparation preparatory work now on 28th of june the good news is because there is good news after all is that venus will leave your sixth house and go to your seventh house where she will support your health and your relationship so there is always help from the spirit world so even if you're having this dense um, planets right now on your ascendant for such a long time already I can imagine how tired you are from this still there is always the helping hand like now Venus on your seventh house where you will feel that even though, even though you feel this harmony in many areas, areas, areas of your life there is always a lot of there is always a there is always this is Venus Still, still, the week is still, everything in the week is delayed, like business, partnerships, work, and you need to be very intuitive and patient and disciplined. And count on Venus, count on the spirit world to do spiritual work. Do a lot in the nature, not, don't allow melancholic state um, of mind. See the sun, welcome the sun, go to the nature, and this you will, see, will, will do miracles for you and also for your health. Capricorn Ascendant. Now for you, the Ascendant Ruler, powerful on such place that it's not only that you may desire self-isolation, but your sleep may be a little bit disturbed. You may have issues at work with your colleagues and also health disharmonies. I expect that if Jupiter will support you very much with blessing, the best divine blessing from Jupiter, and Venus will come to, to support your health. But still, be responsible for your health. Really welcome the sun. Um, connect with the nature and maintain healthy lifestyle. This will be very good for you and you will see the results. Your relationship with your partner and all other partnerships may go through some challenges right now. And therefore, there you need to be uh, diplomatic, patient and disciplined. And do not allow um, anger. Just be patient and loving. Communication and travel, I would say there you also need to be careful. I would avoid both if, 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 um, not if you, or otherwise just double check, triple check and do very good preparatory preparation work if you will be planning the tra travel, for example. Now let's see Aquarius. Now your ascendant ruler is aspecting you, uh, your, uh, your, your ascendant, but in a powerful status of a chronicle rise where he is like a teacher. Teacher 
in terms of your patience with friendships, in terms of your discipline and patience when it comes to gains and money. There you may need to do additional efforts in terms of children, how you approach your children. All this is like the, the, the wise teacher is coming now to check you. Therefore, you need to be very um, patient and double, triple check your children like they a bit more controlling. You need to be in a good way so that you are on the safe side. Jupiter is supporting you and is supporting your career and is supporting your work. Um, you may have some issues with communication when it comes to subordinates and it's good to maintain good health, like maintain healthy lifestyle. Your relationship uh, also may uh, go through some challenges. Therefore, it's good that you're patient and loving and this spirit will pass quite fast. Um, travel and um, communication, as I told you, you may travel, but plan a very good your um, travel. And also, uh, the week will be very appropriate for spiritual work and not appropriate for new beginnings and new plans. I would say everything is so slowed on the sky that the new beginnings may not be so, so appropriate. Let's see, Pisces. Now for you, you're receiving a trine from your ascendant ruler. Which is, uh, which is very nice. But Jupiter there is putting you in a status then when you will be questioning your moral values, the things that you studied so far, or your philosophical beliefs, your general belief system. You may experience challenges at work with your career, with your superiors, and therefore there you need to be very diplomatic, intuitive, and patient. With children this week, you may need to, to be careful. It's like a bit more controlling with, when it comes to children and what they will do. When you communicate with them, you may be misunderstood or you may have some lack, even lack of communication. And there you need to be, um, like to emphasize on with patience and love. Your, um, at one point on the 28th of June, when Venus enters your fourth, fourth house, you will receive support at home, support um, for your parents, with, for your relationship with your parents. Also, your career and communication with your superiors will be supported, but don't forget that Saturn is very powerful in a very powerful phase, and therefore, you need to be very disciplined in what you will be doing and very diplomatic. Ed, diplom, dip, diplomatic and of course definitely don't forget your intuition is your main tool intuitive in everything that you will be doing to travel you may you may as i said experience some small challenges with your relationship there you also need to be patient the week is a bit delayed and a bit challenging for everyone so we just need to be patient and these moments will pass and unfortunately on the second of um, july when will after we'll have the solar eclipse and you may like to hear my other uh, video about the total solar eclipse and how this eclipse will impact us on mundane and also on private level uh, so this was my uh, analysis for the 12 ascendant ascendants your comments are very welcome and if you like to contact me for private consultation uh, my website is under this um, video. Thank you.